Have you ever been on a morbid scavenger hunt? I'm attorney Crystal Patton of Empowered Legacy Planning, an estate planning, estate administration, and business law firm located in Tempe, Arizona. Before we get started, a quick disclaimer. The information shared in this video is meant to be general in nature and is not intended to be legal advice. If you've ever been on the morbid scavenger hunt before, you know that getting your teeth pulled is more fun. If you haven't, let's hope you never have to. In the next several videos, I'm going to give you some tips and tricks on how to avoid the morbid scavenger hunt and lower the cost of estate administration. So what is the morbid scavenger hunt? The morbid scavenger hunt is the process of tracking down a person's asset information in order to administer the estate. The morbid scavenger hunt can occur upon incapacity or upon death. What are some of the things that you'll need to find during a morbid scavenger hunt? Statements, beneficiary designations, Titles to vehicles, boats, trailers, toys, etc. Deeds, account values and tax bases, business entity information and assets, as well as oil, gas, and mineral interests. What type of interest is it? Where is it held? Who manages it? Etc. I hope you will join us for our next few videos where we will talk more about the cost of estate planning, drivers of higher costs in probate and trust administration, how to get organized to lower administrative costs, and why communication with your helpers and regular review of your estate plan and asset information will help your loved ones avoid the morbid scavenger hunt. I'm attorney Crystal Patton of Empowered Legacy Planning. If you've enjoyed this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, hit the like button and comment below with your biggest takeaway, and please feel free to share with others. If you'd like to learn more about the information shared in this video, we'd love to be your partner in planning and help you create your own empowered legacy.